Good morning, guys. I just want to say a couple things on this Sabbath, this beautiful Sabbath day. Remember that God made the Sabbath for man. Today is a day of rest. I want to pray and just say a couple things real quick that are on my mind, and I'll let you guys go and, and be at peace today. Father God, we thank you for today. Thank you for the day of rest that you've instilled in our hearts, minds. And we thank you for everything that you're doing in each of our lives, Father God. Lord, let your thoughts be my thoughts today. I ask that your will is instituted in my life. And that I'm able to do that one great thing and adhere to the one job that all of us are called to. That being making disciples from where we are to where we end up. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Well, I, I've been hearing a lot of things um, lately about uh, well, who was I listening to uh, yesterday? I think it was the Crow House, Max Egan, or or something, and and everyone's talking about <clears throat> their solutions, and we got to do something, and 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 we got to get together and, and and protest in the streets about this uh, the censorship and all these things, and that they're beta or that that they're uh, um, that they're uh, looking for a reaction and stuff like that. And in my mind, I was just about to say, to me, that's like beta testing. And, and, and what China's doing is a lot of the same things, guys. Um, that's not the answer, and I'm sorry. And I love a lot of the people I listen to. <laughs> you got to think deeper than that, guys. These are people... Let me, let me tell you this first and foremost, okay? If we get out in the streets and start rallying and, 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 and holding up signs and, and whatnot and, and doing those things... That's great, right? But say like we even go further. Let's say like that doesn't even work. And then we even go further and protesting gets out of control. And then what are they going to do? They're just going to declare, and I say they, when I say they, I mean the top of the pyramid again. Let's shoot right up to the top. Let's shoot right up to the Rothschild. Let's shoot. And I believe everything stems down from the IMF and, and, and the Bank of Settlement, of International Settlements, which the Rothschilds own and run as well, as well as all the central banks worldwide. That's what I'm saying. If money is, is Roth, if, if, and I know he is, Rothschild, if, if money is his, pro, if he is the prophet of money, which uh, Nathaniel Rothschild once said, then, then he's the prophet of everything that's evil and corrupt and the root of it. And, and if, the, if the root of all evil is money and this B system is ran on that fuel, then we know we can put it all together very easily. And we can see where the system is corrupt at the roots. We can see where it has to be torn out and cast down. And I mean tore out, how could you tear the system out by the roots? That's a personal endeavor. That's what I'm trying to tell everybody. So the answer isn't protesting, yelling, and, and being destructive. Because all that's going to do is cause more chaos. And then that's just going to send them into a panic and a tizzy and then they'll send their little armies because they own them all. Uh, they own the puppets of the government. They own the presidents in and, and, and your guys' two-party system that you guys have faith in. And I'm not, I'm not downing you guys. My, my, just me, myself personally, have, 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 I have done a lot of research. And, and, and I personally don't believe in the system at all. I just think it's a hoax. And um, that's great. I understand there, you have to have some kind of faith in something. But... Uh, I'm I, I'm I'm just not I'm not buying it. I know that these bankers um, bankroll these candidates, and they and, and everybody that supports each candidate uh, has an agenda. Because if their money is involved and they spend lots of money, they're going to expect to have some kind of say in the laws that you make or the rules that you embark on or anything. They're going to want to say in it. That's what money does. <laughs> if somebody donates ten million dollars to your situation, even or or your uh, we won't even call it a campaign, just anything in life. They're going to want to have a, a, a say, at least, in something that's going on and, and have an influence in those things. You, you don't believe that? That's, 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 pretty, that's pretty easy to, to follow logically. At, at least I won't give anybody money unless I'm going to be somehow involved in that process of whatever that situation might be or those processes – or those administration, or what you know, whatever that might be, and that's that could be a myriad or a plethora of situations. But what I'm saying is that the answers aren't these protests. The answers aren't fighting back against groups either, uh, like 
uh, whites versus blacks and all the, all these like just false paradigms, all these lies, man. There's there, none of the all this stuff was instituted by evil minded people to cause division. We are a we are a beautiful people of God. Uh, we are the body of Christ, and uh, DNA is written amongst each and everything in this world. So there's an author to all creation, which is exacting. So that has to be an intellectual force so we can eliminate the whole blob thing. Therefore, we are creatures, creations that are divinely made, that are beautiful and intrinsic in nature and intelligent and wonderful and creative and amazing. And we're all supposed to be here to help one another instead of tear each other apart. So let us know. Let us not let them get rise. They're going to do what they're going to do anyways. Let me tell you that. They're going to keep coming. They're going to oppress more and more. They're going to keep doing this until they can get the rise that they want. They want to declare martial law on you. They want to bring the troops against rioting people. They want to make it seem like you have lost your mind. They're going to take everything anyways. The enemy came to kill, steal, and destroy. If we read the one true way that they blocked, which is Christ... And I say they, I mean all the major players, even the Jesuits. They're all part of this whole tyranny against God. They're all part of this whole corruption against the truth. And you got to see the bigger picture. Um, there's a lot of other families involved in this than just who you think. There's the Farnese, the Aldo Brandinis, uh, the Breakspears, the Medici's. Um, and those are just different offshoots and then you have all the people that are like the holland based the backers so the bp people like the holland the royal dutch uh and they're all satanists they, they have the, uh, dutch hunting parties in their groves where they let like people go and they hunt actual human beings for real those movies that you watch are the elite's way of letting you know what they do in certain aspects not all of them but a great many of them that's why they throw their symbols in there they're witches they're Satanists. They're Kabbalists. They're people that look for wisdom in a cheap way. They don't want to. They don't want to read and, and ask God for it and, and find out organically and through the Spirit and by and, and in a Christian mindset, as, as being subservient to one another, selfless. See, see, can't you tell the, the inverted enemy's way? It's always pride filled. It's always self seeking. It's always egocentric. It's always boastful. It's always proud. It's always me, me, me. It always takes and never gives back. It never sacrifices. That's the enemy we deal with. The greedy, pride-filled, boastful, arrogant, haughty, gluttonous, bitter, mad, galling, just decrepit, devastated, corrupt, chaotic, confused entity. And that's what we deal with. Or entities, I should say, because there's a plethora, a myriad, uh, a whole bunch of entities that are against God's will. And they are the antichrists of this world. That's why Paul said there will be many antichrists in these last days, including the su succession of popes. Call no man father, by the way. Call no man father. That's already, that's already one thing that I won't do because my father in heaven asked me not to. So why would I do that? And that's just one thing, and I'm and there's a there's there's a, there's a whole a whole bunch of other stuff that the Catholic Church does that that is just a, a abhorrence to the Lord, to my Father in heaven, because it's not the same Father that they serve, and I can guarantee that. And what's sad is my brothers and sisters who actually want to follow Christ are deceived by that church, that whitewashed, outside of the cup clean, inside of the cup dirty as hell church. Excuse my language again, but it's true. So I'm going to let you guys go on the Sabbath, but I want you to know that there's nothing you or I can do that we should do physically. Because they're going to be hiding in their mansions with their black egg, what, what is that, caviar, cheering their, their, their most expensive glasses of Dom Perignon or whatever they have. As we wa if, if we do protest and riot, as we, they watch us laughingly protest and riot. Why they send their drones from afar. They're never going to get close enough for you to touch them physically. You can bet that. You know what I noticed too, and this just popped into my mind. Why is everyone wearing those like broken ankle bracelet things, like Biden and Chelsea Clinton? Are are, is it, are there indictments that are being served for real? Like like honestly, that's cool too. You know they're gonna bust it. It's an illus illusory thing. If you're not at the top 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 of the pyramid and you're not a Rothschild agent, then you're gonna have pawns and scheming going on. 
And don't you think that when these people are sentenced and they go off into their little private cells and things like that, because I've been to prison, and there's certain areas where you can just be totally isolated and no one will ever see you. So they could say that they're totally isolated and, and pay the prison guard or some warden something. And, and who knows? Who knows what they do? Maybe they don't even go to jail, you know, ever, you know? Think about that. Maybe that's an illusion too, you know, along with all the other things. Or maybe they send their clone to jail. Oh, let's not go there again. Oh, the clones. Now this guy's really lost his mind. He said, oh, hey, clones? Yeah, there's that going on too. Cloning in every single in every single aspect you can think of. Actually, just to prove it to you, if they can bring a woolly mammoth back, Google that. Google the woolly, woolly mammoth. And if you can find some kind of some kind of uh, resonation with that and you can resonate with that, then think what they could do with just a human cell instead. You know, come on guys. They got the they got the technology, they're playing God. That's another reason we're at the end times. We're doing the exact same things again as in the days of Noah. Read Genesis. It tells you in the beginning when the Nephilim were on the earth in those days and giants and all these other things that happened because of angels procreated with women. That's why in Luke it's saying they're bound in angels. Uh, bound in chains for um, thousands of years, eternity here basically on earth, uh, for an eternity, like eternity, until the end times. And so here we are. CERN is opening up the gate. Uh, I believe that, I believe that AI is going to play a big role, just like Elon Musk himself said. You know, AI is like uh, when you have the holy water ready and and then, you know, the possessed person, if, and you're throwing the holy water at the demon as you exercise it, but it just doesn't work. That's what AI is. If the founder of these things, if these technocrats themselves are worried themselves and they're still pushing forth in a prideful, self-filled mind, imagine the consequences not taking everything at, uh, at before God first, you know? I mean, this, these, that's why God has these rules. He knew his creation and needed them. He loves us enough to tell us these things. It's not because he hated us at all. Think about his rules. Go read them for yourselves. That's what I encourage you to do. But have a good day of rest on this wonderful Sabbath day. This is the Sabbath, guys. Enjoy it. You'll be amazed how it will feel if you take a little bread and a little blood this morning. You know what I'm saying? And not a sacrificial type of blood. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the bread uh, uh, the bread and the blood, the broken body of, of Jesus Christ that we take symbolically in communion, in, in, in communal bond, and, and the blood, you know, of, it, uh, of what he spilled for our sins to cover us. There was a sacrifice that was made, and it was perfect. And it was great in all its affairs. And that's what binds us and keeps us and, 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 and doesn't let us pass into judgment, into death, into Hades, which is a real place. Believe that. Believe that, guys. Just, just understand that there's eternal kingdoms after this, that there's dimensions that, that, that the veil is, is keeping hidden from us, the spiritual, that is. Believe that. Believe that. All right, guys, so put on the full armor of God. Ephesians chapter 6. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God today, guys, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, his lies, and all his other things that he's doing that are false. <laughs> For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Let me say that again. It's not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, and against the powers of this dark world, the powers of the dark world that this is, that has been given to Satan temporarily, that he runs and owns, the prince of the air. And I, can, can you understand why he is the prince of the air? Let me finish this real quick against the powers of the dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything you can do to stand. Flip a page. I'm just kidding. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Pray also for me that whatever, whenever I open my mouth, words may be given to me so that I will, be fearless, so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. 
Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. That is just power. I love Paul. <clears throat> Get you going, boy. Come on, son, buddy. And I don't mean a power that's that's prideful and boastful. I mean a humble power of just a man that's dressed for the occasion spiritually. A man that's garbed in the finest linens of the Holy Spirit. A man that's strong, but humble. A man that's respected. That's a man of God. That's, that's who it is. The prince of the air, because there's radio waves in the air, there's microwaves in the air, isn't there? What all the, what, what, what else? Drones that are, that are in the air these days that have surveillance cameras, helicopters that are in the air, military uh, planes in the air, climate, all the changing and all that has to do with air. Life that we breathe is out of the oxygen, the oxygenation that's in the air. I hate this thing sometimes, man. It makes me just, but oh well, let's not go there. Uh, what else is going on in the air where this prince is messing around? The stratospheric aerosol injections, the, uh, the the weather manipulation, the geoengineering. Thank you, Prince of the Air. No thank you, sir. No thank you, sir. You are defeated and you will be cast down. Bye, guys. Enjoy your Sabbath. I love each and every one of you. Live sent. And that's all I got to say. Bye.